Hello, my beautiful angels. Thank you for joining me. I come to you in love and light. This is Sacred Sagittarius. Angels answers all. I'm Tigra, your humble host, continuing with your general weekend energies. A little late, but I know you still want to know what's going on in your love life for the general community of Sagittarius. My cards are blessed, shuffle, and prayed over as they always are before each reading. You will hear a tone before my readings just to clear the space. Heavenly Father, continue to guide and protect my energy and those who come to this channel in love and light. Guide me to the general messages as it may or may not apply to the community of Sagittarius regarding their love life, especially for the energies in September as we continue to go through the year of 2024. Let's first start out with some messages from the oracles and we'll, of course we'll tap into the tarot. My messages are time stamped if you want to um, bypass the intro and go right to the reading. If this is your first time please don't let it be the last. Hit the subscribe and share comment tab wherever you see it on the screen and welcome to the family. Okay, so what is the energies that we're starting out or the messages for Sagittarius as it pertains to love? At the bottom of this deck, we get this intense chemistry going on in your connection. And, oop, okay. <laughs> I guess that's a little too small for that holder. So we'll just place it right here. Followed by your partner is taking off their feet by you or they're swept away by you. They are just head over heels over you. You are better off as friends and the heart wants what it wants. Well, there's intense chemistry in your connection with a particular person. That's the good part. We love intense chemistry. We love when our fiery passion can soar and that we have a companion or a lover or a suitor who matches that energy and can embrace the wild side of us and lets us live with our freedom and let us do the crazy things that we love to do and understand that whatever we do, we do do it with passion. We do do it with love and with intention. And they're not afraid of that. They welcome it. They will try to <laughs> match our energy when they can but they also will kind of let us simmer down when we need to because even us we can get in our own way or we can be a little too absorbent with our energy so sometimes having a good balance and a great chemistry with someone who really is connected to you and understands you keeps you balanced and that is so important in relationship now this partner is so excited to be with you again they are enticed by you could be an electrical connection or electric connection between you because of your spontaneity because of your charm your look your appeal just your overall being it doesn't always have to be the, the physical attraction why someone is drawn to you but luckily enough for us Sagittarius we're kind of like the full package we get both the external and internal presence of beauty and style and wit and charm and security and loyalty that many partners love so when you find someone that is attracted to you they understand what they're getting in a sag and if they truly appreciate you they will try their best to get into your heart to get into your life and be a permanent fixture there so very easy for people to be attracted to us very easy for people to want to be with us to spend time with us to get to know us better but with the you're better off as friends energy not every person that might be spontaneous with you that might be attracted to you is meant for you to be in a long-term relationship sure you might get your feet wet and have some great times be flirtatious but you got to be careful because again there's some partnerships there's some relationships that come along our journey that they're there just to teach us a lesson and they might be short term so they might be more of a soulmate right than a long-term partner and for some of you you might be better off with this person as a friend as you get to know each other what might seem really great and grand in the beginning as time goes on that energy might wear off or you might find out that even though there is intense chemistry with you will it last the duration of time will they lose interest or will you become flighty Sagittarius and run because you need your freedom the heart wants what the heart wants and Sagittarius we are prone to getting what we desire and 
what our heart wants might not be necessarily what the universe wants for us, or it might not be this particular person who you start out having all this chemistry with. So again, it's really great when you have these great fiery passionate starts to relationships and you find partners or love interest who really are head over heels with you and they really are excited to be with you. But let's see how long that's going to continue. Okay, because again, this could be a soulmate connection, it could be a temporary connection, a karmic connection where there's a lesson to be learned, and you're just passing through time with each other. It's not meant to be a long term relationship, and eventually, your heart might want something else, and you don't want to stay the course with this person. So, for many of us, Again, we're excited when we meet new people. We love the attraction of what love brings to us when we meet new people. But down the road, if our heart really isn't with this person, if this isn't the person that we desire, we will kind of move aside and let someone else new come in. In the middle of the deck, with they feel like they're out of your league. Well, the other problem sometimes when it comes to love, Sagittarius, for you, that many of you might be coming to realization this weekend is that sometimes some people just feel like, you know what, Sagittarius, you've got so much going on. You're such a free spirit. Can I even keep up? Will I be able to entertain you and keep you happy and keep you motivated and keep you excited? Again, not everyone has this fiery passion and this spirit to live and to love and to create and just to be doing anything and everything at any given time. It can be draining for us. So imagine for other Zodiac signs who might not be that intense and all over the place like we tend to be and need that that space and development for growth and freedom so again they might feel like they're out of your league financially emotionally romantically but that's not going to stop them from wanting to be in your presence it's not going to stop them from wanting to get to know you but like i said the realest person in your life is going to be honest with you and say you know what i love you i like you i'm into you but <laughs> I can't, I don't think we're a good fit. And we appreciate honesty because honesty and honor is important to us. So someone who admires you, likes you, wants to be with you, but also is smart and has common sense, knows when they feel like it's, it's, it's a great match for now, but not for the long term. This is not a forever love, but you'll probably be the best of friends, right? And friendships are important too. So. We want those type of lovers, we want those type of people in our life who want to be with us or be part of our life, but they also know when, you know, romantically we might be too much for them or they can't live up to the expectations of what love means to us and what that role means as being our partner. What else do we get for this weekend? Let's go to the middle of this deck. We get the ancestors are present. So the ancestors might be trying to give you some messages telepathically or through your dreams regarding your love life. Or some of you might be going to them asking for answers. Sailing ship. Well, some of you might be thinking about leaving a relationship or someone could be thinking about moving away from you or breaking away from you if they haven't already. And you or they one of you might be breaking away from each other and one of you is kind of holding on you want more time let's see what else comes out deadly words so some of you have some friction going on and bandages in your relationship you're holding on you've been fixing your wounds you've both been kind of like catering to each other um, and trying to keep the relationship afloat, but there's been a lot of hurt, there's been a lot of pain, okay? And again, when you're just kind of in a relationship just to be in one or just because you're comfortable, that is not a secure relationship. That's not a real relationship. That's not real love. When someone truly loves you and you truly love someone, if there's hurt and pain or disappointment or if you've grown apart, a real person that loves you and honors you and respects you will tell you that it's not working, that it's over, it can't be fixed, and they will walk away. So this way it gives them the opportunity to leave you without dishonoring you or cheating on you and also gives you the freedom to be free to find someone else or to just be on your own, but not to be in a relationship where there's hurt and pain and strife. So 
Some of you could be parting or your person is leaving you or thinking about leaving. You're talking about going separate ways. You both might have been holding on because there is love there. But that love is no longer, I feel like the hands of time with the holding on, it's no longer what it used to be. Okay? So we can love people, but it doesn't mean that we're still in love with them. And the longer you stay together, the more deadly words, the more toxicity that comes into a relationship. Sometimes we just have to be honest with ourselves and honest with our partners and vice versa when it's over when it's time to call it quits. So many people stay for the children, they stay for the employment, they stay because they're comfortable. We make up all the excuses and they do too, why we stay in relationships that we know the love isn't there or we don't have that type of interest in each other anymore. So these are some other cards that were turned up. So I'm gonna take them with this reading. So skeleton in the closet and lovely pictures. So some of you could be holding something or your partner's holding something which they might not have been disclosing to you, which could be the reason why this relationship is no longer in the place that it used to be. Lovely pictures. They could be looking at someone else's pictures on their tablet, as you see here. So your partner could, not to say that they're cheating, not to say that this third party interference, but they could have their eye on someone else or they already have someone else in mind when they part from you. Doesn't mean again that they're cheating with them now, but they are looking into their options. Maybe there's a lot of stuff that they've done to hurt your relationship that you are not aware of and maybe it's about to come out. Okay, you see the skeleton in the closet, how they're forcing out. So some of you could be in a relationship with partners where they have dark secrets or they've done things. Maybe they have had, you know, casual sex or impromptu um, conversations or relations with people outside of your relationship and it's getting ready to come out. Let's get one more card in the middle of the deck to see if there's anything to clarify any of this. Soul tie. So again, like I said, What's been keeping you two together is because you do have a soul tie connection. You could be parents together. Again, you could have been the best of friends. You could have been high school sweethearts. You had a real true love relationship, but maybe it's just, again, it's met its time. It's ran its course. Let's see if there's a time factor. Oh, okay. And before I can even say that, as far as when this might actually come, to an end or what needs to be done. So communicate clearly. Like I said earlier, the cards confirm. Anytime you or your partner know that the relationship is over and the love is gone, tell each other. Don't cheat. Especially if this skeleton is going to come out the closet anyway. Get it off your conscience. Let them tell the truth to you directly before you find out from someone else. With the message step back, you're being asked to step back from your life in order to gain perspective. When you're too close to a situation, especially a love situation like this, it can be hard for you to make a decision. That's why some of you might be reaching out to your ancestors for help in this situation, right? You might be asking your tia, your tio, your nona, right? Your grandma, your umbrella, like, what do I do? I still love this person or there's still some feelings there, but I know the relationship isn't what it used to be. Do I try to, you know, hold on and let it continue to downslide or do we just break free with integrity and peace? So you might be too close to the situation. So definitely getting the additional information and guidance from your ancestors are great. And sometimes just separating gives you the clarity that you need, whether you should leave or you should fight for the relationship. Let's go to Divine Beauty's Oracles cards. Some of you are inspired artistically outside of your relationship and outside of your love life or your love life has inspired you in your artistry and your work and that could be one reason why this relationship means or meant so much to you for the most part you've led a secluded life with this person so like i said maybe you or your partner someone new came into your relationship or some type of major um 
how can I put it? Some type of major event occurred in your relationship that broke up that seclusion. And now your relationship is exposed to the world or it's opened up the opportunity for other people to come into your life to kind of interrupt the flow of your relationship and show it for what it really is. With the card quickie, yeah, someone... One or both of you could have stepped out of the relationship. And that definitely will break the this, this seclusion um, and the confidence that you have in the relationship. Okay, so someone was straddled during this quickie. It was pleasurable to them. And someone definitely took advantage of the situation and had power. So if one or both of you cheated, whoever cheated, if they did cheat, there was someone who wanted them. This person took control of the situation. This person could be aware of the problems or they could see the decay um, in the relationship. All people need is a little spark, a little opening when they want to be with you or they want to be with your person to cause havoc or separation. Wow, what did I say? Manipulation. So someone was pulling the strings either towards you or either towards the both of you because sometimes depending on the person who it is, they could be so heavily invested in separating you two for their own personal gain. They could befriend you and play you out of position while closing up to your, your boo. So they can work both of you at the same time to accomplish manipulating the situation so they can be with the person that they want to be with, which would be either with you or your partner. And believe me, people are really treacherous. <laughs> We also get coffee cup. So there's some conversations that you're going to need to have with your person to discuss the relationship. Um, some of you, it could be a broken engagement or you're ending the engagement. So if you, you're not married or you were talking engagement or you were engaged, you might call off the engagement. Why? A mess because one of you or both of you weren't being honest with each other as the relationship progressed. And some of you are going back to always or you're thinking of someone possibly from your past or you're replaying bad behavior, toxic behavior that you you or your person have done in your past relationships, okay? So someone could be reverting back to those toxicities. At the bottom of the deck, we get love call. Someone expresses a message of love. Um, the person could be calling your person or calling you saying how much they want to be with you. You know you want to be with me or you know the feelings that we have for each other are strong. You and your partner are not really in that same space anymore. So again, you know, the love bombing and all that stuff that they're trying to do to pull you towards them or your person, they're really putting in overload now because they see that the separation is about to happen. Let's go to the third party deck to see what other messages we have because definitely and again this is not all my sagis this is just those of you where the separation could be strongly due to infidelity in a third party what else do we have with a third party a jealous comment yeah this person was jealous of you this could even be someone close to you that is interrupting your relationship social status this person might be someone who might be a little bit more in the scene of things than you and they look as your partner or having you is a come up for them you're everything i could never be yeah a lot of jealousy against you sagittarius because this person again the jealous karmic social status is like they might be jealous of your social status and what you and your partner had and, and what you developed or built together you're everything that they could never be so they're jealous of that and then at the bottom of the deck, all fun and games. Yeah, they thought it was all fun and games, um, trying to woo your partner away from you and creating the mistrust and the infidelity. But what they don't understand, what goes around comes around. And that saying is so, so true. How you get them is how you lose them, okay? So they might get your partner or you now momentarily, but in the long run, they're going to lose in the end. With the card healing, old wounds, childhood issue need revisiting. So if one of you reverted back to cheating, and this is something that you used to do in your past relationships, you still need healing. So apparently there's still issues there. Even if this person that one of you cheated with is not from your past, you still have to deal with your need or desire to 
be, you know, um, to be a cheater, to, to not be monogamous. Sometimes people cheat to escape a relationship or to use that as a scapegoat, um, to justify getting out of the relationship. So there's something there that someone needs to deal with. Okay. We also get vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. For some of you, you know you can be open with your person and tell them what's on your mind. But again, you might not want to know the truth. Even though sometimes we do, it hurts to know the truth. And remember, we started out this reading with the hourglass holding on, kind of trying to delay the inevitable. So you're vulnerable in the sense that you feel the relationship is leaving. The feelings are dying down. But you don't want to let this person go. So you might give them the opportunity before the skeletons come out the closet, or you may sense that it's coming out the closet, the opportunity to come clean. And then finally with finances, finances are challenges as they affect your relationship. Well, if what tends to happen in the, the breakdown of the relationship, you stop communicating, you stop talking to each other, you stop having the fun times and the date nights, they stop or you stop with your obligations to the household to the family and the next thing you know the finances are off because you're spending time traveling with this person or they're spending time traveling with the other person you know they're showering them with gifts they're, they're building you know equity into the next phase of what their relationship is going to be with this person. So they're no longer putting money into the household that they have with you. They're putting money into the household that they're going to be building and eventually going to with this next person. So that causes more stress in the relationship. And that more than anything else really will be destroy, you know, the straw that breaks the camel's back as far as the relationship ending. Let's see what we can close out with the tarot. Well, judgment. So definitely things are going to be coming to a head. Um, you've been holding on to your emotions, holding back, trying not to say too much. But I think, like I said, the skeletons are going to come out the closet. There might be gossip. Someone might have said something. You might have seen something posted on social media. You might have found something in their wallet on them, in their clothing. So it's getting ready to bust open. Okay, you're standing your guard. You, mentally, you want to make sure that you approach this the right way. Okay, and you really haven't been working on the relationship as much. You've been kind of just letting it go. But now you, you see the need that something has to be decided. It, it can't continue in the pace or in the stage that it's in. Okay, so a lot of you are, are taking that spiritual break. You're tapping into your intuition. You're going to your ancestors for the answers. Because like I said, now it's impacting the family. It's impacting the home. It's impacting the finances. It could even be impacting some of you physically as far as you being ill, calling out of work, um, arguing in public, arguing online. So it's really getting out of hand now for some of you. So this is why... The communication and the decision as to what to do or to not to do with the relationship really is going to come um, to a close soon. Some of these cards are... So let's see what we get. Okay, well, this came up. So yeah, there's, there's been an increase in fighting and arguing and name-throwing. It's really getting nasty. And you just want it to pause right now. You want to take a break from that so you can decide what you're going to do. Let's see what the energies are in between you taking a break from the relationship or what's going on. The hermit and the devil. So one or both of you are going to be sticking more to yourself. The communication is really going to be less. You're probably going to have one big blowout argument and say everything you've got to say and that's it. And... The temptation of this person to leave is now is going to be stronger now more than ever. Let's clarify the devil. Patience. The patience is run through. The patience is out. This is your sign energy, Sagittarius. Your patience is no longer there. The time is up. The gig is up. So you sense or you already know or you feel that something's been done wrong. They're going to come out with it or it's coming out. So... 
all this pausing and the waiting and trying to be understanding and just letting time play and see if things are going to change that's all over <clears throat> oh sorry <laughs> we end at the bottom of the deck with the seven of wands you know um when you come to your final decision there's going to be pushback from your partner especially if you have investments together or money or things to separate um they might try to even though they want to leave they might want to still try to hold you at bay, give you false hope that you can work it out or that if maybe if you separate and give each other time that you can work it out. But I wouldn't put too much energy into that. We also get Ten of Swords, yeah. Because there's been too much done to the relationship at this point. So this is not a relationship that I think you will revisit again once it is over. Let's get one more card in closing. New opportunities, you starting to do the work to see what's out there or what you want to do for yourself. Maybe tapping back into your work and your career might be of more importance to you, your person. Some of you might have someone that's going to be there comforting you. With the Christmas tree here in the background, some of you might be dating or talking to someone new by Christmas. Okay. Someone, you could have a quick fling or a new person to talk to between now and Christmas and someone else who might be against that relationship who also is um, interested in you but at the end of the day Sagittarius is the queen of pentacles you have to do the work you have to do the inner work and you have to do the work in the relationship as you dissolve it and you move away from it to decide where your heart is and what you want to do with your life and who you want to be with if you want to be with anyone we always make the mistake that at the end of a relationship that we go into these next relationships we go into these uh, rebound relationships and that's really not the safe or smartest thing to do page of cups so yeah i think you'll take it slow with your emotions before you go back into love i think once this is over you're going to find the happiness that you seek you're very hopeful for the future you're going to achieve more of a balance in your life once this relationship has ended and i do feel like a lot of you are going to throw yourself into your work well wow what a Great, impactful, and again, doesn't resonate with all of you, but an informative weekend reading for some of you who might be going through these energies. As always, I welcome you in love and light to put your comments below. Namaste.